Good morning, Crypto Farm, IGTV, YouTube, Facebook, whichever you're watching on. A little bit later today, the video, um, because I was a little bit busy this morning, in a little bit of a rush, I had to get on site fast, so come for an early dinner to beat the queues and thought I'd have a little chat about um, an article, of, ooh, someone's dodgy parking there, about an article I saw, I was reading, um, I only saw it this morning, posted it on Instagram about Instamatch. Kurt did a short video about it the other day, he was, um, and then I noticed this article, so I just wanted to come and have a little, little chinwag about it, really, because it, I was left like, whoa, some transactions, like, the value is unbelievable. So Instamatch, in a partnership with R3, um, to do many things, I'd imagine, but one of the things that they're going to be doing is the testing of the Corda Settler DAP, a decentralized application within the Corda network. So I've brought a few little things down out of the thing because I can't go on my phone and look at it again because I couldn't really remember it all. I was, I was struggling. But well, basically, Instimatch is trying to digitize the institutional system of allowing borrowers and lenders to establish trade through their own networks. Maybe networks like IBM at the top, enterprise level. Um, it's coming out now that the XLM is likely to be front end. XRP is likely to be back end. So it's extremely interesting. The partnership with R3 that includes so it's not only includes testing of the Corda DAP, a settlement platform for high-speed payments. The testing is supposed. The testing is supposed to test high-volume transactions of over one billion dollars. Over a billion dollars per transaction. That's madness. And people say XRP is for small payments, eh? So R3, a company based on DLT for blockchain solutions, as, a, as an extended platform product, which is Corda. The Corda Settler platform is an open source decentralized application on the R3 network, and it was designed to enable large corporations and companies to move virtual currencies and assist in, the tr in trade settlement payments. So again, it comes a lot down to trade and supply chains and between big, massive institutions. I mean, look at the Wish website. It's only a couple of years old and turning over something like three to six billion a year. So it's like they're sending all that money on. They need something like this. So Instamatch has been able to tackle the latest settlement API and it has added the option of high speed payments, which is crucial for the dedicated and quick execution of intraday trades via the Corda Settler DAP. Anyway, I'm saying DAP, anyone new to us, a DAP is a decentralized application. Application runs on the standard internet. A decentralized application runs on DLT, distributed te ledger technology or blockchain. So Instamatch is open to have more than 100 counterparts, counterparties from various sectors and reach a broader region of involvement in the next 12 months. That's an interesting statement, a broader reach region of involvement, as if they're going to start with one $1 billion and upwards settlements and then maybe work down to the front, front end. At the end of the day, you've got R3 on, as a Hyperledger member, R3 Corder, Hyperledger, IBM, Hyperledger, to have a hundred counterparties in the next 12 months, considering they're in a consortium of up to 250 companies, over 250 institutions, corporations, and banks now. But it, I, I'm surprised it doesn't say over 200 and not and just says over 100. Mix that with the little bit of uh, the Ripple R3 and SBI partnership. So like, there's, there's, it's all happening in it, and one billion over one billion dollars of a transaction now i shared that in um, in instagram this morning i also shared one about iran possibly um going on the stellar network for their cbdc because of sanctions imposed on them by other countries when i think of stuff like that it gets extremely interesting all this level playing field stuff 
Venezuela and the petrol, crypto, the, their, their back to petrol. They're having trouble getting people accepting that as a payment. So what they really need to do is make themselves a platform or, or DAT where they can swap their petrol for XRP and send XRP to the rest of the world and the rest of the world then converts it back. Because ain't no one's going to accept the petrol from Venezuela. Iran will make their own CBDC, maybe on Stellar Network, maybe not, maybe on something else. But if they're then hit by sanctions and other countries, don't want to accept that CBDC. Like IBM says, the two institutions have to agree on the bridge asset, whether it's a CBDC, whether it's XLM, whether it's XRP, they've got to agree. So someone's gonna be like, that to Iran, not being funny, bro, but we're not putting your CBDC in the middle. We'll use XRP. The most, like, it's just the chosen one, innit? XRP, the standard, baby. It's the chosen one, so I don't know, IBM, I don't even, I'm, I'm almost done with that, I'm going to go live with IBM, about IBM at the weekend, we'll have a little chat in it and then we'll transition over to Inst, uh, Instimatch and R3 Corda and this Corda Settler DAP, we'll start taking a little deeper dive into that because I am a lot more interested in that now than I am IBM's, IBM XLM front end, XRP back end, that sounds alright to me don't really feel the need to look into that more like i say we will have a live we will have a little chat with it some people might raise some other questions but i dropped this because i was getting in comments people talk about oh but what about xlm and, and iran the iranian currency and stuff like this and they'll still need a bridge that the rest of the world trusts so sanctions or no sanctions anyone in in america is going to trade with someone in iran in five years and iran's got the cbdc they're likely going to use XRP as the bridge asset, whether it's whether it's through XLM and IBM, whether it's through another application. I've actually just been on Wirex, Revolut, LBX, been on a couple of me, me apps that give me actual wallets, and I'm in full control. It's not in a it's not in someone else's pool. I'll move it all about. They won't even let me buy XLM on there yet, so. I think people should stop raving about XLM until it's it's getting the amount of liquidity pools and it's getting on the amount of exchanges and applications that XRP is getting on. Not worried at all. Not worried at all. I am amazed by the fact that, what, like, a billion dollars per transaction. It's like, I wonder how many transactions of that go through a day. We know there's all hundreds of billions of remittance payments crossing borders each year. We know there's likely billions and billions coming overseas back to the HQ of the likes of Apple in America, they don't want to drag all their money back. Same for British companies that go to America. So you've got your Googles, your Amazons, your Apple, maybe your Tesco over there, your, your Walmarts, all earning money all over the world, all struggle to get it back to where they want it in the current system. And R3 just coming up and just saying, yo, what, what are you saying, Brian? Six bill a year? It's all good. We can send a bill at a time, more, more. We'll just send a bill at a time. <laughs> well, you want to send two bill, no danger. Instant. We'll send two billion across border instantly. I mean, come on, man. Well, that, that's like, we're back to mind blown, aren't we? Back to mind blown and economic advancements. So when the economies all start booming and the Africans start getting banked and the microtransactions are adding God knows what millions, billions and trillions to the economy in the next five or 10 years, these billion transactions might become extremely uh, extremely often. They might be often now, I don't know, I'm not a billionaire, I don't know how much all them companies, I don't know how often all them companies move all that money. Weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. Do they not move it because it costs too much to move it and they're all just waiting to bring all the money back? Don't really know, but what I do know is that Ripple, our free corridor, SBI, and a few others, just to name a couple, are absolutely smashing it with XRP. They're dropping the golden nuggets every now and then, and we're just picking them up and going, look at that, look at that. Let's go and find it. Ripple, our free corridor, um, corridor, settle, adapt, tested by Instimatch and um, keep an eye out for the test results and that and as always 
live long and odd, love you, love crypto, love XRP.